Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn why do we need protractor or what is the need of having a separate automation testing tool when we already have tools like Selenium. So I will go very basic step by step and in the last session we have already discussed and seen what is protractor. So we have learned protractor is an end-to-end -end test framework for testing of Angular and AngularJS applications. We also saw that Protractor is a Node.js program and it is a wrapper over WebDriver.js and you can use Protractor to do testing on your application which are running on real browser and you can interact with it as a real user would. And we have already seen that we can also test non-angular applications with Protractor. So all this we learned in the last session. Today we will focus on why do we need Protractor. Now when we do automation of any web application, for example if I go to Google you can see this is the Google home page and we have multiple elements here. We have some links here. We have a text box and then we have some other links here. And so these are different objects or elements in a on a web application. So any web application can have multiple elements like links, text boxes, drop down, check boxes, radio buttons, frames, tables and so on. And all these elements or all these objects have some properties. So it can have properties like ID, name, class, text and so on. For example, if I go to Google and if I do a right click on this search box and go to inspect, so you can see it opens this developer console and if you see carefully it has some properties. So you can see there is a name property, there is a type property and so on. So for example, the name of this text box is Q and I can use this to create locators for this particular object or text box. So I will say control F or command F. So I have got this text box here and here I can create some XPath. So I will say input and I will say name equals Q. So I'm saying the type is input. So you can see this is an input tag and I'm saying name equals Q and with the help of this locator or XPath I am able to find this object on the web page. Now do not worry about these XPaths and all this was just as an example. So what I am trying to show you here is all elements have properties and using these properties we can create locators for these elements. So we can locate the element by these properties and we can also create XPath, CSS path and other element locators and the automation tools like Selenium use these locators to find these elements and then they can do action on these elements and that is how we do automation on websites or web applications. Now here all this will work fine in case of general HTML websites. However, what is the difference in Angular applications? So in Angular application there are some more properties which are specific to Angular applications like ng repeater, ng controller, ng model and so on. We also called it Angular repeater, Angular model and so on. So these are some extra features or some extra properties which can be used to identify objects in Angular applications and Selenium and other conventional tools do not have the feature to find elements using these properties. So here in Angular applications along with the other properties of general HTML and CSS there are these Angular specific locators like Angular repeater, controller, model and so on and it is difficult to find Angular elements by using Selenium WebDriver and therefore we need Protractor because Protractor is a wrapper over the JavaScript binding of Selenium that is Selenium JS and it provides support for these Angular specific elements. So here you can see we have WebDriver.js which is the JavaScript binding of Selenium and we have a wrapper over it which is Protractor and Protractor has this support for finding Angular specific element or properties. Now this is the very first reason why we need Protractor. We need Protractor because this has methods and features that can locate elements based on Angular specific properties and locators. Now here Protractor also have some different methods which are useful while doing automation on Angular or AngularJS applications like wait for Angular, wait element, dot evaluate and then by dot binding repeater all these locators we can use. We will discuss and learn more about it when we do the practicals. So this is number one reason. Number two reason why we need Protractor is 
because of the synchronization issues while we automate angular applications with selenium webdriver now you can automate angular applications with selenium webdriver but then we have a lot of angle uh, desynchronization and uh, issues with synchronizing the elements and the asynchronous behavior of the angular application so i will explain that to you so here angular like javascript is mostly asynchronous and it makes use of promises to handle asynchronous callbacks so i will explain this to you now here with protractor all this synchronization between protractor and angular is very efficient and to understand this we need to know what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous progr programming so here in a synchronous programming model things happen one at a time so you will send a request and then you will wait to re receive the response and then only you will go to the next step in asynchronous programming here we can have multiple things done at a time operations can be executed while the query is being processed let us take an example if you order a coffee at a coffee sh shop what are the steps you will do you will order the coffee and then you will wait for your order to be prepared and once your order is prepared you will get your order and then you will leave or do the next tasks the same thing can be done in a different way if you look at the same scenario you order coffee at coffee shop you will order the coffee and the coffee will get prepared while the coffee is being prepared you are free to do other things like you can you are free to find a table you can get a straw you can check your phone text your friend and so on and once your order is ready you will get a notification or a callback and you will then get your order and then continue with the rest of the steps so this is another way so the very first scenario where you order a coffee and wait until your order is prepared is a synchronous way while the other scenario where while the coffee is being prepared you are free to do other things and then you get a notification and you get your order is a asynchronous way of handling the same scenario and angular applications like javascript are asynchronous and when you try to automate these kind of applications with selenium general web driver there are these synchronization issues and it can take more time and you can get frequent failures and therefore we need tools like protractor to handle these kind of issues so this is the second reason why we need protractor the third reason is a lot of web applications these days are created with angular and angular js and therefore we need some platform some tool to do automation of these kind of applications and therefore we need protractor so these are the three reasons and i hope now you know exactly why we need protractor to do automation on these kind of applications built over angular and angular js also there is a reference that i want you to go through so if you go to google and if you search for protractor style guide you will get this protractor style guide go here and you will find some very good information here so you can see if you go down so there are some good best practices here now you can see locator strategies so it says never use xpath because this is the slowest and most brittle locator strategy of all and you can see you should avoid something like this and suppose this is your application backend where you have these kind of ng model and these properties so do not create locators like this so you can see do not do by css and other things you can directly use by dot binding by dot model and this is this comes from protractor you cannot use this in general selenium web driver this will only be possible in protractor so this is very good article you can read this this will be very good for your knowledge anyways we will discuss this in future in detail so this is why we need protractor i hope this session was very useful for you do share your knowledge with others and we will do more hands on in the coming sessions of protractor have a good day